Temperature and humidity sensor. Gee, I wonder what that could possibly do. Need a hint? It uh, measures temperature and humidity, and they are around it. Wow! Who would have guessed? You can build a weather station, set up some home automation settings for when the temperature drops below a certain value. Maybe like set your thermostat to automatically turn the heat on if it gets too cold in the winter. Or use it to make sure your aerospace clean room is within the recommended humidity before touching any of the neato space tech like they do at NASA. To wire up our little Hello World program, we're going to be using pin 7 or for our signal pin, but you're welcome to use anything 2 through 13 as long as you change the DHT pin variable in the code included below to whatever pin you end up using. As always, ground goes to ground and we'll supply power, 5 volts in this case, to our plus pin, which is the middle one. Since our wiring is pretty basic, I'll be skipping the breadboard entirely and just wiring directly to the sensor. So now let's go look at the code below and take it for a quick spin. Before we do that though, there is a library that is required for this. So if you would, uh, if you don't have it already, you can go to inventor.io slash libraries. You can click the DHT sensor download um, under the sensor kit required libraries. It's the third one down, at least as of this time of recording. You can download the DHT sensor and then in here, you can go again, just to quickly describe how to install this. You can go sketch include library, add zip library, and then you can go to wherever you downloaded that zip file. And here it is, a DHT sensor library. I'm gonna open it up and the library is installed. So now, as you can see, the, you won't get an error saying that there's no DHT.h. There will also be an Adafruit sensor library that will be needed as well. So you can download that from the exact same link. Um, again, to install it, go to include library, add zip library, and I will go to downloads, Adafruit sensor, and I will add that to the list of libraries. So once you have that library, we can take the code and we can plug in our board, of course, which I forgot to do. Um. So once I hit upload and then open up the serial monitor down below, you can see that there is the following output. Um, as you can see, it works pretty well. It says that it is currently in here, um, a humidity of 45, 46% in Celsius. That is about 24 degrees and about 75.20 degrees Fahrenheit which is pretty neat. Actually, if I look at the thermostat, that actually looks very accurate. It says it's about, I think it says 73, but it might be slightly hotter. <laughs> so as you can see, it works pretty well. Right now in our humble abode, just south of Tampa, Florida, it is, let's see, 75-ish degrees, 74, 75 it looks like. And if I take a look at the thermostat, hey, look at that. There it is. And, it, and the best part is it even displays it in Celsius in case you don't speak American because, uh. What is a kilometer? I'm just kidding. Thanks, that's all for this sensor here.